Sixth grade, module three, lesson three, problem set. Number one, write an integer to match the following descriptions. Remember, an integer is a positive or negative whole number. So A, a debit of $40. So debit means that you're losing money. So it's going to be negative 40. A deposit of $225. If you deposit money in your account, your money is gaining $225. So it's going to be positive. 14,000 feet above sea level. So above tells me that this is positive. A temperature increase of 40, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So increase is positive. A withdrawal of $225. If you withdraw money, you take it out. So it's, your balance is going to go down. $225 and 14,000 feet below sea level. So now below is negative. For problems two through four, read each statement about a real world, world situation and the two related statements in parts A and B carefully. Circle the correct way to describe each real world situation. Possible answers include either A, B, or both A and B. So we can pick A, we can pick B, or we can pick both. Number two, a whale is 600 feet below the surface of the ocean. So the depth of the whale is 600 feet from the ocean's surface. So that would be true, it's 600 feet from the ocean's surface. B, the whale is negative 600 feet below the surface of the ocean. So kind of like we talked about in, oh, I should circle it. Kind of like how we talked about in the classwork in the previous video, we don't need the negative there. That's repetitive because below tells us that it's negative. We don't need the negative number there. So that one would be incorrect. Number three, the elevation of the bottom of an iceberg with respect to sea level is given at negative 125 feet. So we're looking for negative 125 feet or 125 feet be below sea level. So our choices are either above sea level or below sea level. And if it's negative, that means that it is below sea level. So the above is what gets it. And number four, Alex's body temperature decreased by two degrees Fahrenheit. So he went down two degrees. Alex's body temperature dropped two degrees Fahrenheit. That would be correct. The integer negative two represents the change in Alex's body temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So he decreased by two, so that is true. That is the integer that represents his change in body temperature. Number five, a credit of $35 and a debit of $40 are applied to your bank account. What is the appropriate and appropriate scale to graph a credit of $35 and debit of $40? So here we're just explaining what we would do. So I would make a line graph that counts by fives. So I would make so my scale is something counting by fives and I'm going to do that See, I'll get rid of this period so I can explain because the numbers we have are 35 and 40 and they're both multiples of 5. So it would be easy to just graph 35 and 40 because there will already be, um, it's on the scale. Okay, B and C. B, what integer represents a credit of $35? If zero represents the original balance, explain. So B, what integer represents a credit? So a credit means that it is something greater than zero. So it's just gonna be 35 because a credit is greater than zero. And I'll just leave it at that. And then C, 
What integer describes a debit of $40 if zero represents the original balance? So that would be negative 40, because debit means a debit is less than zero. And D and E, based on your scale, describe the location of both integers on the number line. And E, what does zero represent in this situation? So D, based on your scale, describe the location of both integers. So we were counting by fives. So 35 would be, if five times seven is 35, so it would be seven units to the right, 35, of zero and negative 40 that would be how many tick marks if we were counting by five that would be eight to the left because it's negative and e what does zero represent in this situation so zero means that there's no change being made to your account of balance. So if you were to put in zero dollars, you, nothing's changing. So we could just say zero means no change to the account balance. So if you had five dollars in your account and you deposited zero or um, took out zero, then you would still have the same amount of money.